good day today's video is all about boiler i will show you how to check your flame scanner or flame eye not all flame out or flame failure alarm caused by flame sensor or flame eye this is the fastest way and easy way to check before dismantling your burner okay, our boiler maker is alpha label alpha label boiler this is our alarm history flame out flame out flame failure okay before you dismantle burners we will check this flame sensor we have two flame sensor it's also a two flame relay we already swapped it then the number two is put in the number one okay one flame relay composed of two contactors that we that it will activate 40k2 and k3 and then number two flame relay at 40k8 and 9 okay this is the number one flame scanner introduce a light the 40k2 and 3 must be activated because the flame relay contacts activates the two contactor k2 and k3 and then at the bottom this is number two it must be number two but this flame relay number one is defective ready that it must be activated when you when you put a light on the number two example like this when introduce a light as you can see the 40k 8 and 9 did not activate it did not activate it and then this flame relay labeled one is defective this is number two flame relay I, I put on the original position as you can see the contactor k8 and 9 is activated it means it means that the flame scanner two flame scanner is good okay because the flame relay number two i'll put it on the number one the contactors is activated and then going to number two also the flame relay activates the two contactors for intended for number two i have spare okay i have spare two spare on board but the defective flame relay is only the number one label number one okay it's easy because the flame I pull it and then introduce a light on it must be activated the contactor must be activated if not the flame relay is defective but but if you swap it and then the flame relay did not activate the contactors you swap again the flame relay or the flame eye both vice versa so that you can diagnose what is the problem if the flame relay or the flame eye okay the hmi is alborg okay we reset and then escape password 3101 Okay, let's start. We already changed the flame relay and then we test the flame eye. One and two is flame eye activates a send signal to the flame relay. Flame relay, there is a contact on flame relay that activates the contactors. 
for the number 1 K2 and K3 40K2 and K3 for number 2 40K8 and 9 okay as per instruction manual and ignition safety time the safety time must be must be ah there is a time Oops. there is the time that the flame must be stable then after that if the flame are stable okay the status is flame stable then this is it it's good uh, the, the flame is good all parameter parameters are normal okay thank you very much i hope you learn from it and thank you for watching before you dismantle or you adjust the setting of your boiler you must need to simulate your flame sensors okay this is the diagram one and two that is for 220 supply and then four and five that is for your flame sensor or flame eye if you simulate this on your workshop you must supply one and two directly go uh, 220 and then one going to six need to bridge as per diagram and then 11 and 12 that is the external contacts to activate the contactor the two contactors okay rar 9 that is the model for our flame eye as siemens rar 9 4 and 5 there is a polarity plus and minus labeled also in the photo eye or flame scanner or flame eye thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos don't forget to follow us on facebook marco tv adios